Hello everyone and welcome to another Pokemon Pocket video. Uh, today we're going to be answering the question I get asked the most by far on stream, every single day that I stream this, so I thought instead of answering it a hundred times, uh, I will just answer it in a video, because uh, it's pretty pretty simple. And that question is, how do you play on PC? How are you playing on PC? So on, so on, so on. So um, I will answer this, I'll tell you guys how I do it, um, and uh, I, I was surprised that a few people I know didn't realize or didn't really think about this strategy because uh, it does pay off, especially if you want to save your uh, neck muscles to an extent. Um, so first things first, I do not use an emulator. I don't think you even can use an emulator. I don't think that works at all. Uh, I'm playing on iOS uh, and on an iPad. Um, though I'll explain how that looks and how it looks okay on stream and so on in a minute. But all I will say first is I don't really know about Android stuff. I, I use my iPad, so this probably should work for Android, or I'm sure there are similar things that do the same thing. You guys will know more than me if you have an Android uh, device. Whereas I I'm only talking about iOS, it's all I've got, so I don't want to pretend I know about things I don't know about, because that's just silly. I barely know about enough myself anyway. Uh, so first things first, yes, I'm playing on my iPad, as you can see here. If I do this, it does that. Uh, there's no wires on this. I normally have it charging because I stream for like X amount of hours, so I don't want to drain. So yeah, I normally have it charging. But um, yeah, this is completely wireless. As you can see, this is doing this. And um, how I do this is I use a program. I'll put the link to the website in below. This is not sponsored. This is no affiliation. I get no benefit from this. The only benefit I get is I don't have to keep repeating how I do this. Um, I used this exact setup for Pokemon Snap way back in the day to play in the beta before they had a PC client because uh, I had it on iOS as well. So basically, I use my iPad, I play the game. The reason it can look good on stream and also uh, I can do this, which you may be able to see me. Uh, there you go. That's a better view of it is I use a program and I use something else that helps a lot, which is called a Bluetooth mouse. I have two mice, one's for my PC, uh, which you won't be able to see me use obviously, and one is for my iPad. This is just a Bluetooth mouse. Honestly, I think you can get them for like 10 pounds or you know, $10, $15, whatever. It has batteries in it. It's not a rechargeable one even because it's, I don't, doesn't, don't use it that much. Uh, but I attach the, I just link the Bluetooth mouse to my iPad Suddenly, I can use a mouse for an iPad. And now, because I mirror my screen with this application, I effectively just, this iPad could just go over there. It doesn't matter, I don't need to look at it. As soon as it's on working, I don't need to look at it because I'm just doing this off the screen that I have in front of me, like I would any normal game that I play on my PC. Obviously, it does have the, the, the thinner size because it's an iPad game. Uh, the program I use, um, I'm not gonna show you, um, I'm not gonna show you it on stream, there's nothing wrong with it, it's just, I don't want to start like showing my account name or whatever by accident. So I'll just tell you what the program is. Uh, the program is called Let's View. Um, and I have this program on my PC. It is free. And I have the app on my iPad. And basically, if you download this program, uh, all it does is you, you log in on your iPad, you log in on your PC, you open the program on your iPad, click share screen, like you would share screen on say Discord or something, click start, instantly just shares your screen to your PC, uh, Let's View client, and then I capture my Let's View client. Um, the only other thing I would probably add onto this as well is that um, I actually have paid for an upgraded, because again, Let's View is free, but you can pay for like premium or whatever you want to call it. And I'm doing this because obviously I'm streaming, making videos and so on, but I actually get like the higher grade... Uh, uh, version of it so it's like in the extra HD whatever you want to call it I don't know I'm not I'm not technical in that aspect but you get like a really crisp picture and um, which I've seen in some other streams and some other people like making content they're struggling with like how clean the image looks it can look a bit blurry maybe because it's on a phone maybe because of how they're capturing it or something like that and um, but for me or at least I've asked my viewers I ask my viewers all the time does the stream look okay does this look okay and apparently it looks very clean very crisp yes I'm casually flexing my uh, Charizard collection right now and um, but apparently it looks very good I mean I can show you this as well just to like show you what you know animations and stuff looks like FPS and so on but this is being captured completely wirelessly it's like a magician trick. There's nothing on it. This is just through Wi-Fi, obviously. I'm just sharing my screen with the program. And once it started sharing, 
you can do it. This iPad doesn't need to. I don't even look at it, like I said. My iPad's like, I don't even have it like in front of me. It's just on the side of my desk over there because the mouse lets me do everything off the actual monitor I'm playing from. So yeah, uh, I think it looks okay. My viewers like it, said it's good. The program works extremely well. Uh, Pokemon Pocket has like crashed, I think, two times or so while I've been streaming. But I've been streaming since it came out. And also, it is not a new iPad, so it's like running Pocket, running my screen share, blah, blah, blah. And it crashes, I load it back up, get back in, no problems. And it, like I said, I think it's crashed twice, and that might be just trying to like juggle the screen sharing that's live along with this. So maybe it's that, maybe it's not. Again, I'm not super technical, but overall, it works extremely well. It's extremely reliable, very clean, and I'm not sat here because I know I would be like this slowly d hunching over tap 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 you know whatever i'm not sat here going right okay i'm like it's, it's a weird position to sit in for because i stream for like hours obviously it's a weird position to sit in and i wanted to avoid this at all costs so yeah uh put it simply let's view is the program i'll link it below uh, any bluetooth mouse that can connect to your apple device which is like any Bluetooth mouse. Um, can, mine's cheap. It's not super great, but it works. And yeah, there you go. You're effectively playing on a PC without having to hunch over your, your device or have like a, a staring at a small screen all the time. You get to look at full-size screen, more or less, and, uh, and yeah, play the game and have fun. So just a quick video, really, just to let you guys know how to do it. I can now send this video to anyone who asks because it looks fancy and complicated with a mouse, it's pretty simple. Bluetooth mouse. Let's view app. Enjoy yourselves. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.